Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Alright, of course you know we have to put out our disclaimer that we don't do nothing over here but talk crap, talk shit. We just be going on and on and on and on and on to the break of dawn. But everything's alleged over here. We know nothing to be factual unless I tell you this is a true thing. And I give you resources to go, you know, find out what else I'm talking about. Or what the hell I'm talking about, pretty much. But we got to have a conversation. got to have a talk. We need to have a talk session. My family members. We got Scrappy still on the board to be talked about. Him and Bambi. Their divorce and everything. Make sure you go over there to that channel, which you're on now. Make sure you go to that channel as well. Subscribe, okay? Share, like, and comment on the videos. But like I said, we need to have a conversation. Mm hmm A quick conversation on why Mama D is going off on Bambi. Where it's just like no holes barred. Their divorce. So mama gonna speak her piece. So this is gonna be like a little reaction type video where we stop, we pause, we have a conversation, and we hook the video back up again so y'all can hear the audio of Mama D. Going in on Bambi. Now we get it from the neighborhood talk. You know they always be on point, and uh, they give us good resources to follow, and they kind of make it entertaining as well. But let's just hear a little bit about Mama G going off in her house, recording herself about the, the band. Because when she responds to this, I'm going to show the world proof. I was going to wait. I was going to wait, but now I got to speak some of this shit out so y'all see that Scrappy it, it loves his children and he takes care of his kids. And I, when I seen her crying on TV, I said, what's she crying for? Because she knows she's lying. Okay, now, do people tell the truth when they're going through stuff? Do people tell the truth when they're drunk? I have to say, yeah, they, that's the feeling they've been having all along about you. Now, we did have a conversation when, back in, way back when, when he was dating and checking up with Erica. Yeah, I remember. Erica wanted to put his up behind on child support. He was saying, she was saying the same thing, that he wasn't paying child support, and she needed him to help out. And, of course, he was coming with the receipts there, but, you know, we know as women, when we hook up with these men that we think was just, you know, the best thing since uh, uh, apple pie and the crumb cakes that go on it. You know, something real good with an ice cream, vanilla thrown on the side. That's how we thought our man was. We sat down and had children by this man. But, of course, you have to be really cautious on the mentality Bambi was in. If he wasn't doing right by the first child y'all had, why did you have two more with him? I mean, really. Okay? But let's get on back to Mama D getting in Bambi's ass. Because <laughs> it's quite entertaining. Because she's a very entertaining woman. She should have her own show. I'm telling you. VH1, uh, BET. I'm telling you, y'all need to make these housewives and uh, loving hip-hop elderly uh, senior uh, OGs, you need to give them a show. But here we go. Let's hear it. Let's hear what Mama G's saying. Nope, oh, wrong one. What did I do? Oop, hold on, guys. Hold, please. Okay, we're back. And the police will be at your door before it get dark. Don't forget. <laughs> Motherfucker had them kids for free. Told goddamn Medicare that you didn't have a job. Don't call for Mama D. I'm going to tell you. You got to shut up. Get back. Get back. Get back. Because you got a paper trail, boo. And you've been working for uh, VH1, Love Hip Hop, for a minute. Why did you not have no money to pay for labor and delivery? Don't call for me. And you lied. You still lied on federal paperwork, okay? You don't run a store. People sit and buy stuff from you and they don't get it. They don't get their money back and you don't answer the phone. You all know Mama D don't even act like that. Tried to take it easy on that but now I'm finna, she don't open the floodgates. So I'm finna tell the whole world about her and the fucking mama. 
con artists. All they do is run game on people. If you write the right game on Scrappy, but he had, he came out that nod he was in. Oh, he woke up out that nod, and I'm glad my son got the fuck away from this poison. Now run everybody and tell that. Because when she respond to this, I'm going to show the world proof. I was going to wait. I was going to wait. But now I got to speak some of this shit out so y'all see that Scrappy it, it loves his children and he takes care of his kids. And I went, I seen the crown TV. I said, what's she crying for? Because she knows she's lying. So now I'm responding, Bambi. Don't fucking come for me because I know the gun that you don't did. Don't make me make a phone call to the social security office on your mom. I will call and the police will be at your door before it get dark. Don't forget. <laughs> Motherfucker had them kids for free. Told goddamn Medicare that you didn't have a job. Don't come for Mama D. I'm going to tell you. You got to shut up. Get back. Get back. Get back. Because you got a paper trail, boo. And you've been working for uh, VH1, Love and Hip Hop, for a minute. Why did you not have no money to pay for labor and delivery? Don't come for me. And you lied. You still lied on federal paperwork, okay? But you don't run a store. People sit and buy stuff from you and they don't get it. They don't get their money back and you don't answer the phone. You all know Mama D don't even act like that. Tried to take the D's on that. But now I'm she don't open the floodgates. So I'm finna tell the whole world about her and the fucking mama. Calling all this All they do is run game on people. If you write the right game on Scrappy, but he had, he came out that nod he was in. Oh, he woke up out that nod, and I'm glad my son got the fuck away from this poison. Now run everybody and tell that. Because when she respond to this, I'm going to show the world proof. I was going to wait. I was going to wait. But now I got to speak some of this shit out so y'all see that Scrappy it, it loves his children and he takes care of his kids. And I when I seen the crown teeth, I said, what's she crying for? Because she knows she's lying. So now. Okay. Hi, oh, girls. Let's see here. All right. So, you know, Mama D gave us a lot to unpack because <laughs> she said uh she's selling a story uh, by telling us bambi is selling products that she's not sending out the door to her consumers I'm like bambi are you doing that girl why you messing with the consumers money and they time surely bambi is not doing that because that's a lawsuit right there Mm-hmm. You cannot pretend to sell stuff or you give the impression of you selling something, but yet the people don't get it, but you got their money. That's fraud. That's another whole case of fraud, baby. Oh, Lord. Then she said something about Medicaid. I mean, every time she had one of them babies, she falsified documents that she didn't have a job. When we know she has at least a six-month job, with VH1, Love and Hip Hop, do they not watch TV? Or did you go in there and then give them um, your real name? Girl, did you go on a, a, a false name? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we already know Bam is your, you know, stage name or uh, reality, show, reality, uh, reality show name you gave yourself. Uh, but are you really lying? You have a job, girl. It's a part-time job. Because I guess you only work six months out of the year, and then you have to go on promo tours, I guess. Maybe, well, maybe VH1 don't have to do that. But I thought they did. I thought they did. So we got you, you selling products nobody's getting. Uh, you committed Medicaid fraud because you told these people, going on what Mama D said now. Going on what Mama D said. We ain't seen the receipts of it, but we had just taken her at her word that you applied for Medicaid, got it for all three of your children because you said you didn't have a job. Now, we know you had a job, okay? So, that's why I said, why do these people get on these reality shows 
knowing they're going to be doing some underhanded stuff. Because that, that's how uh, Brittany. Show what that girl name on uh, Basketball Why? Brittany? What her name? Brittany? They're going to jail. Yeah, she had committed some, some frauds and some schemes in her past life. Well, not past. Uh, We're going to say before she got to be known as a reality uh, queen or whatever, star, however you want to put it. And uh, I know her first name is Brittany, I believe, her government name. But, yeah, she, she's looking at some jail time. Because one thing you forget is whatever you do before you become famous, you want to go make things right in your past that you might stick out like a sore thumb. Because if you don't, somebody going to tell somebody to look and see what you're doing. The cops may be involved. Then it may be a federal case where the FBI had to come in. And guess what? You're going to jail for a pretty length of time, you know, five or seven, six, eight, twelve years. That's a reality. That is a, a that's a lifetime. Okay, so I don't know. Then she told me she's gonna take it to see the social security office. Did you forward the baby uh social security numbers? Did they already have numbers prior? I don't know where she was going with the connection with social security. Maybe that was a connection with Medicaid. I don't know. But that's too much of uh, state regulated business that can definitely land you in jail. A federal case be brought on you. And what's, what's going to happen to your three young babies? Hmm? And then Mama D is calling you a corn artist. Why is she calling you a corn artist? Because right now, Mama D is not happy in a, in a palace. She's there, everybody running them up, but she is so glad her son woke out of his nod, his sleep, whatever, and came back to life where he's understanding some things. But I, I ain't going to put the whole thing on band, man. We got to put some stuff on Scrap, too. Because Scrap knew who he was dealing with. He always, he what he said last time, uh, he met her representative. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, you also know that she's allegedly... Uh, slept with Benzino, and they were down there. I mean, I think Young Jock was down there. Uh, I, I can't remember half that scene, but it seems like a little bit more or some other women were there to, I guess, take care of the men's needs and this, that, and third. But I don't, I, I know you were there in the tub with Benzino. Uh huh. So I'm like, were you with Benzino? Because Mama D saying, you know, some things happen. And you don't want her to come out and tell what's really what the truth is. But I'm like, come on, bring it out to us. We are ready for it. We are hot. We want the hot waffles. We want the hot sausage. We want it all, Mama D. We want, we want the smoke. Okay? Because we know between you and Scrappy, who the craziest one. And we have to go with you, Mama D, because you, you find yourself. Trying to tell us something, but it's always be laughable. Always laughable. So I can't really know how to take you serious or not. <laughs> but yes, you definitely put Bambi in her place and then some. I mean, you're just pure entertainment. You you might well go uh, on on what do you call it? Do what Tasha K doing? Trying to go and be a comedian. Cause I sure will come see you. I sure will. I, me and my mask. Cause I don't care. Over the still out there, whether well, y'all want to make sure that's not because y'all want to live y'all life like once before, but that type of living is gone bye bye. Okay, it's gone bye bye. So, I suggest you just wear your mask. I don't care what these folks saying on TV and what CDC saying. You know, the people you be around that be coughing, hogging up stuff, or uh, be sneezing. Mm-hmm. Ready to give you something that you didn't want from the beginning. So thank y'all for coming over to the channel, supporting me in your last song. Make sure you go to my channel, Make It Make Sense. Subscribe. All right. And also go to my other channel, Dale Chanel's 40s, where get your laughs and kiki on over there as well. But this is where I stop the video because I ain't got nothing else to say. And I'll see you next time.